Hey everybody, happy Tuesday. Pastor Matt here with your daily RPM. Hey, this week we're talking about your money and how you can tap into God's economic system. I'm reminded today of 1 Kings chapter 17. There was a prophet named Elijah and there was a great drought and famine in the land. The water had dried up. The food was short. And Elijah, God sent him to a widow at a place called Zarephath. And he said, go, I want to have this widow feed you. And Elijah showed up, and there's this widow. And there wasn't any food. And probably Elijah was thinking, God, I thought you said there'd be food here. And the widow said this to Elijah. She said, I, I only have just a little bit of meal, like, like, a, like a baking substance, like flour, and a little bit of oil. And I'm gathering some sticks, and I'm going to mix it all together. And my son and I are going to eat this last meal, and then we are going to die. We're going to starve to death. And Elijah said this. He said, give me some first. Can you imagine how selfish that would sound? Preacher asked widow for her last meal. But that woman honored the man of God. And do you know what happened? A miracle. And her jar of meal and her jar of oil were supernaturally filled and replenished every single day. And that woman and her son and Elijah ate and were filled every day. I want to tell you this. If you want to have the kind of finances you want to have, get God involved and don't give him the leftovers. Give him the first. And I know that sounds, how could you ask somebody who's struggling for some type of financial uh, uh, help? I'm telling you this, when you give your assets to God, God gives his assets to you. God bless you. I'll see you tomorrow. If you like this video, like and share and follow my dad on Pastor Matt Ministries.